Here's example three of using product to sum formulas to uh, write a product as a sum or a difference. So here, write the product as a sum or a difference, and the product is sine of five theta over two times the cosine of three theta over two. So what we're gonna do is go back to our formula sheet here, and if you want a copy of this, check the video description. There's a link in there. You can click that link, get a copy of this. Um, and we're gonna use this third uh, product to sum formula here, sine alpha cosine beta, because we have sine of something times the cosine of something else. Okay, but notice uh, we could use the fourth one if we wanted to because it's just cosine of something times the sine of something else. So remember, uh, when we introduced these in an earlier video, we mentioned that the third and the fourth one really say, uh, the fourth one is kind of redundant because it says the same thing pretty much as the third. It just looks different because the roles of alpha and beta are swapped. Okay? Um, but the fourth one doesn't give you anything new. So either the third or the fourth can be used for this problem here. But we'll just use the third uh, for no real particular reason. So sine alpha cosine beta is one half times the quantity sine alpha plus beta plus sine alpha minus beta. Okay, so we're going to use that there. Okay, so we're going to use that formula with uh, 5 theta over 2 is our alpha and 3 theta over 2 is our beta. Okay, so with that formula then, uh, just plug these values directly into the formula and then what we have is, this is a 1 half, open brackets, sine of alpha plus beta, so that's 5 theta over 2 plus 3 theta over 2. Okay, that's our alpha plus beta. And then we have plus sine of uh, alpha minus beta, so that's going to be 5 theta over 2 minus 3 theta over 2. Okay, so that's uh, alpha plus beta. So remember, alpha is 5 theta over 2, beta is 3 theta over 2, so this is alpha plus beta, and then that's alpha minus beta, just uh, directly from the formula here for this uh, third product of sum formula right there. Okay, and then when we simplify, we get 1 half times, uh, open bracket, the sine of 5 theta over 2 plus 3 theta over 2, that's going to be 8 theta over 2. And then we have sine of uh, 5 theta over 2 minus 3 theta over 2, that's 2 theta over 2. And uh, luckily we can simplify a little more, so then we have 1 half times uh, sine of 8 theta over 2 is just 4 theta and then plus uh, the sine of 2 theta over 2, which is just sine of theta. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, example three of uh, using the product of sum formulas to write a product as a sum or a difference, and this is our answer here. So this product of uh, a sine and a cosine function were uh, rewritten as a sum of two different sine functions here. So that's example three.